and welcome back guys to our town hall 11 where today i have four builders available and no laboratory usually i've got a laboratory i need to do but today my miners are still rocking they've got three days to go so that's pretty awesome also my king is still upgrading he also has three days so guess what i'll probably be filming in three days because can't be having that laboratory and that king just sitting there doing nothing like that's that's against the rules uh but welcome back guys let me actually request for some Clanton castle troops i forgot to do that earlier and i've actually got my second army still cooking so we'll see how that works out in the second raid while i'm, I'm waiting for a cc i'll wait for just a second i do want to mention and remind you guys that i am doing a new account let's play channel one two three whatever uh on facebook so if you want to check that out and please do it's it's a lot of fun and it's just a whole new thing i'm trying to build the audience over on facebook so check it out link for that is down below in the description okay uh let's smack some bases i'm going to collect my resource or my uh reinforcements there because you can do that now it's just amazing and now let's smack a base i'm actually going to be looking for a base with a load of dark elixir for the possibility of actually upgrading the queen but before we do that i just remembered i have a crazy amount of loot in the treasury in fact i've probably been maxed for a while this is the power of CWL, okay? If you're not in a clan that does CWL, you're missing out on all kinds of benefits. Loot, metals, fun, it's just great. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect this treasure. It's gonna bump me up quite a bit, actually. Wow. Um, I guess I should spend a little bit of gold, um, but I don't want to just do it willy-nilly. Let me just choose really quickly which thing I want to upgrade. In fact, I've been needing to upgrade my final air defense. Let's go ahead and just do that right now. Nine day upgrade, six million gold. There you go. Okay, so that's over there. And then you know what? Let's spend some elixir. I do need to upgrade another barracks and get electro dragons going. So let's go ahead and just do this as well. Bam. You know, I would say today started off pretty well. Uh, <laughs> just getting some big things going. So uh, uh, we got a barracks going. We've got an air defense going. I've spent a lot of loot, but more is to come. So now let me find a base and we're going to smack it. Again, prioritizing dark elixir. That's not always the case, but a lot of the times it is. And that's a great base. Okay, there you go. That's that's a pretty good amount. Um, also, I want to mention, this will be the last video where I use this iced golem bow witch it's worked very well but i'm ready for a change i'm sure you guys are too so let me know in the comments for those of you who are town hall 11 experts let me know in the comments which attack strategy i should switch to okay let me know in the comments i'll be reading them and whichever one is mentioned the most odds are is the one i'll go with so okay we're starting this off right i'm gonna basically come in to where my uh log launcher can take out the eagle that's nearly always the plan and you know what queen i want you to go in there too now let's drop a, a quake on both infernos and one two three four there we go so both infernos are now gone there you go and uh unfortunately the warden has decided to go off his own merry way which is never a good thing i want the warden to stick with the troops bro come on but at least the eagle's gone and the log launcher broke open look at that broke open the compartment for the town hall oh that is beautiful that is beautiful all right uh let's drop a rage spell right there kind of cheated over i'm hoping the queen will step up take out the town hall very good and um i'll wait just a moment yeah yeah let's go ahead and pop the warden's ability i don't want to lose any witches to a flipping cannon that would be just depressing <laughs> and i've still got my queen's ability so we're looking really good i'm actually seeing uh, a pretty cool little spread here queen warden and witches on the bottom bowlers and a couple of witches on the top this is actually a very nice very nice balanced spread of troops this is beautiful so i'm watching and waiting i'm just gonna i'm, I'm probably gonna need the queen's ability sooner rather than later just because the wizard tower has decided that the queen is the enemy actually no we got it done very nice um i've got a an archer tower here that's gonna have to go down shortly um so you know what let's just wait just a moment oh no giant bomb don't go off oh the ability went off dang it i was really really hoping that i could use the queen's ability on the enemy uh, the enemy king but it may not be necessary actually yeah because if these um skeletons take out the cannon before the king goes down no okay the king went down i was gonna say we don't necessarily have to take out the king to three star which is super fun because every once in a while that happens and it's like ah there you go but okay there you go there's a three star that's why i'm still using this attack strategy it works 
but there's a lot of other strategies at work and that's why I want to mix it up. But there you go. That was um, 900,000 plus elixir, 7,700 dark elixir. My favorite number being seven. So that's kind of a nice one. And uh, overall, just awesome. Okay, so let's collect or not collect. Let's begin the training of a new uh, army. And I do have to wait a few minutes before I get another clan castle. And it just so happens that it's the same number of minutes for another clan castle as it is to finish the army. So uh, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Six minutes to be exact. And there we go, guys. The army is ready to go. And I've got a rage spell some from Samyar. So thank you for that. And Dragon Emperor with the bowlers coming in hot. Thank you so much, my friend. Don't forget to join my clan, by the way, guys. Uh, you know, CC recommend er, CC stuff going on in videos and uh, obviously warring and hanging out in the chat and all that stuff. Don't forget. Check that out. Links in the description for my Discord server. OK, I got my CC. I'm going to go ahead and grab my log launcher. For 15 metals is absolutely 100% worth it and let's go out and find another base with a stupid amount of dark elixir because it's just fun to do I mean I don't need more of a reason than that right it's a game for heaven's sake <laughs> that'll do it 8,000 dark elixir and it is a perfect kind of you know I can come in from the top I can take out the eagle I love it when the dark elixir and the eagle line up with the town hall like you know your log launch is going to take it all out it's just beautiful i love it so let's go uh ice golems here get our witches there we go and then our bowlers here you go and then that guy and then by the way i just remembered i just realized this is kind of the point of the whole video this is our very first eternal tome with a warden that's actually upgraded enough because we started a level five um eternal to or uh, uh warden upgrade last time so yeah, this is kind of a big deal, like a big day. It's exciting. So yeah, um, big, big happy. You know, that's basically what I'm trying to get at. Big happy. And oh, I hit a stinking tornado trap. That's the worst. That's the worst. And where is the warden going? Dude, this warden is the worst. He's going. Why would you do this to me, man? This warden like won't stay with the troops. It's just really irritating. Uh, but yeah, so this is our first eternal tomes. This is just awesome. It is truly awesome. I'm very excited about it. All right, uh, Queen, get in there. I'm going to take out the Dark Elixir. And then uh, I do have one more drill I do want to get. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the Town Hall today. I mean, who knows? I might. I'm going to try, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, to be honest. Uh, I've got to watch and wait until the Archer Tower is distracted. Then I can put a couple mi uh, minions over there on the, uh, the last drill. So I'm just kind of watching and waiting for that. There we go. Get those minions in there. Queen will continue to step up, so that's awesome. And if this expo does go down, then we should. Oh, and then the queen steps up. Check that out. Nicely done, queen. Oh, you're brilliant. Okay, spot the queen's ability. We'll get the town hall. We'll two star. I'm totally cool with that. And uh, if I put no, this archer can't really accomplish much of anything, can it? No, I don't think so. Um, well, okay. So if the queen, check this out. If the queen successfully takes out this. Uh, uh, what is it called? Wizard Tower and Archer Tower. Then we're gonna be in really good shape. Oh no, never mind. I was gonna say that minion can do whatever, but the minion's dead. Minion died a long time ago. I didn't know. So I'll put the archer right there. Get a shot off from gold, and that was it. Also, ooh, check this out. We got a series of uh, skeletons from our witches that are gonna be making the way toward the treasury. Now that treasury does have 672 dark elixir. I want it dead. Odds are it won't work out because the expos are here and nothing was running out of ammunition. So that means I'm assuming that they're not gonna. I think that they're, you know, this base isn't that dead. I wish it was. That'd be cool, but it isn't. So, bummer. We were so close. Uh, so there you go. 76 plus uh, 220. So 7,800 Dark Elixir. Not bad. We had some really good uh, Dark Elixir grabs today, guys. I'm really, really happy with how things turned out. Okay, let's do... Actually, let's stay in the progress base here. So Dark Elixir, first things first. I do want to upgrade... Uh, the queen so we're gonna go to level 45 have a brand new ability level which is going to take that ability and give us 100 additional damage increase which is crazy health recovery additional 25 the ability is going to last 0.2 seconds more i don't know if that equates to an additional shot or not uh and plus one summoned units which is great so that's awesome so i'm gonna go and upgrade the queen 120,000 dark elixir six and a half day upgrade bam 
And then the next big upgrade will be the Warden. Yes, I will have no heroes for a little while. 2.25 million elixir, which means I do have about two more million that I can spend on walls. I'll just do I'll just do these two. That's fine. Uh, upgrade these two walls, and then I can actually dump three million gold into walls as well, because I am spending my fifth builder. If I collect the treasury, does that push me ahead? Yes, I can do one more with gold and one more with elixir just making just making solid overall progress you know what i'm saying 2.25 million elixir 18 hour upgrade bam there you go see this is where this is where you want to be this is really the goal right the big goal is all three heroes upgrading non-stop constantly right that's that's the goal <laughs> whether or not you can actually farm that dark elixir is a whole nother story and a whole nother question but, uh, but there you go, guys. So we got a barracks going, uh, air defense going, two heroes, and just absolutely killing it here on Town Hall 11. And a lot of walls. Like these these white, like white hot walls that we've got going on here. There is nothing better than a Town Hall 11 with max walls. It just looks so good. Like it starts to get kind of murky after Town Hall 11, you know, 12, 13, 14. The walls aren't quite as important. I mean, they're always important, but it just, it, it just feels better to have a max Town Hall 11 with max walls. It's just something about it. I love it. Let me know in the comments if you guys appreciate and, and, and understand what I'm saying. So guys, that's going to be it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 11 Let's Play. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, don't forget to check out my Facebook series down below. Link is in the description. And don't forget to use code Klaus if you guys decide to buy something in the game. Go into your shop. There's all kinds of cool stuff that you can buy with Clash Adversary. If you hit that little white C at the top right-hand side and input code Klaus. And that's, of course, if you decide to buy something in the game. If you're not going to buy something in the game, you don't have to do that because that's no point. Um, and although I do, you know, I will say it and I always will. Um, the best way to be is free to play. That's the way I play and I totally recommend it. So you do what you need to do. Thanks for watching, guys. And I did not mean to move that Elixir Collector. See you all next time.